Hi everyone and welcome to Bio with Fano's first ever video. Uh, today's topic is titled Transpiration and we're going to be talking about water movement in the plants. Right? So first off, what is transpiration? Transpiration is the evaporation of water from the surface of leaves right? and it gives rise to things like transpiration pull and capillarity which help to move water up a plant and to the leaves. So why do we want water to enter the leaves anyway? Well, we want water to enter the leaves because photosynthesis requires water and the leaves are the site of photosynthesis, something that we would have covered previously in photosynthesis. Now, today's experiment, we're going to be taking a look at how transpiration occurs in the plants, how it occurs in the leaves specifically, and uh, we're going to try to observe it in the real world because what happens is that since water vapor is invisible and plants are open to the air around it, we can't actually observe this happening. We don't get to see it leaving the plant. So today's experiment, we're going to be using a plastic bag. We're going to cover the leaves, right? And we're going to observe to see if any water is coming out of the leaves. There's also another experiment that we're going to be doing as well, where we're going to look at the water movement through the veins of the leaf. Uh, if you remember, water moves through the xylem and the veins uh, they consist of a large number of xylem. So if water is moving through into the leaf, we should be able to see it in the xylem, provided that we use a colored water. So we're going to do those two experiments today, and uh, let's get started right away. Okay. Okay, so here on my table, I've got my apparatus and my materials ready. So I've got a fake plastic plant here, it's fake leaves. Uh, we have a real plant here. We have two clear plastic bags. And we have some tape to hold the bags in place. Okay, so let's get straight into the procedure. Okay, so what you want to do is that you want to take the plastic bags and you want to put it over and around and put some of the leaves in the plant into the bag. You want to get this done as carefully as possible. You don't want to damage the plant too much, right? And then you're going to try to make top of the bag sealed off as best as possible so seal it off that's where we come in with our masking tape all right I'm gonna use our masking tape and wrap around it keep it trapped inside there so it's pretty much as airtight as it possibly can be all right now we're gonna do the same thing for our plastic plant Okay, and I just skipped ahead and did it already for the plastic plants. Now when doing this, it's always better to choose plants where the branches are coming down so that water can collect below if there's enough transpiration for that occur. But if you can't get any that are hanging down like that, it's okay. You're still going to see the transpiration appearing on the bag itself anyway. Now these, both of these plants have been watered already, right? And uh, we're going to take them now and we're going to put them down into the sunlight downstairs. Okay, so now we've got both plants out here in the sun. And we're going to leave it for about half an hour to an hour and take any observations afterwards of what might be happening in the plastic bags themselves after when we come back. Okay, so in the meantime, while that experiment is running, I'm going to show you a different one here as well too, where we can look at how water moves in the leaves. So here we have two leaves and uh, you'll notice that um, they're very they're very close to transparent. So you can actually see pretty close, pretty much most of the most of the veins are showing pretty well there. Right, so I've got this one here and it's out of the solution, so I'm going to leave that as my control. But this one, I'm going to put some pink food coloring in it, so that if any water was to move up into this leaf, it'll show up in the venation. There we go. It's all the same color. Alright. Now I'm going to put my leaf in. Okay. Right. So my leaf is in there. And if all goes well, you'll see this dye moving through the veins. This one will be our control, so you can see if anything actually did move. Two hours later. 
So taking a look back at the leaf, we can actually see that the colored dye has actually moved through the veins. So we're going to rest it down now to the side to actually compare it to the original leaf. So right there you can actually see the color of the dye as it's moved through the venation. It's actually pretty good compared to the original. So we've put these plants out, I brought them back up some time so that we can check it out. Uh, so we look first at the plastic plant and we can take the bags out but even from here you can tell that there's absolutely nothing in the bag. There's no water. There's no fogginess, there's nothing present at all, indicating that no water came up from this plant and into the bag. Right? This was what was expected because a plastic plant will not transpire since, well, it's not alive to begin with, nor is it capable of bringing the water up to the leaves. Compare that to this plant, our live plant, and as we look at the bag, everywhere around the bag, you can actually see these water droplets throughout the bag, and there was no water in it at the beginning of the experiment. So clearly this water would have had to come from the leaves that water evaporated from their surface and this is transpiration. Okay, so that was our video for today. It was a very, very simple video. Uh, it shows us transpiration in plants and serves as a really good introduction to transporting plants, which we're doing right now. So I would strongly recommend if you can, get it, take a chance, um, go and try this experiment for yourself. It's actually a really simple experiment, very easy to do. And uh, you get results pretty much very easily. I do suggest though that you um you do it on a day that is very warm and sunny. Um, even if there's a lot of wind blowing, all of that is good. Uh, those factors do affect transpiration. We're going to read about that in a little while too. Um, if you do it on a day that's cloudy, it's going to take a while to get results. All right, everyone, um, stay safe. Right. I hope you all are staying home, helping me flatten the curve, and um, I will see you all soon. Bye. Take care.